Hamlin here. Welcome and thanks for joining me. I'm uh, going to talk about a blues feel today, often called a blues mambo or sometimes I've heard it called a rumba blues. I'm not entirely sure which is completely accurate. Probably either or both. Uh, but anyway, uh, I usually call it a blues mambo. Uh, it's very common in uh, Messing with the Kid, the Blues Brothers version, or uh, Crosscut Saw by Albert King. Um, so it's it's just kind of a really cool feel. Um, it, it's really hard to explain what the drums do on this, but it's a, it's a kind of just a cool groove and feel. It's a lot of fun to solo over. Um, but this is a great little idea that you can play uh, like while the vocal's going on, for example. So let me show you how it goes. Um, it's the same idea, you know, repeated for all three chords. So we're just gonna have to learn it once. Um, now I'm gonna do it in G, but of course you can do it in any key. And I'm gonna start with the low G on the sixth string, and then I'm gonna jump up to the C and D, do a hammer on between the two of them, and that's on the fifth string, the third to the fifth fret, and end up at the third fret F of the fourth string. So one and two and a three, and I'm gonna strike that twice, and a three E and come back to the D. One and two, and a three E and a four E and a. G, C, D, F, F, D, F, G. Third fret, third, fifth, third, fifth, third, fifth. Now when I move it up to the C, I could do it still on the sixth string, but I'm right here, so I'm just gonna move it to the third fret of the fifth string. Everything just translates by one string. Nothing changes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Back to G. And then we go to D. Again, nothing changes. C, G. And really, that's all there is to it. You can do that all day long. If you speed it up, that I do use a little bit of palm mute on my right hand. Uh, if I don't use that, it's, it's a little bit bright. It's just kind of in your face. Since I'm usually using this, I'm usually singing over it, or there's another vocalist in the band singing over it, I don't want to get, I don't want to be too brash. So particularly like if I was using the, the, the bridge pickup, I want to keep it down. So my palm on my right hand is just lightly laying on those strings right back by the bridge. Now sometimes you'll also hear my pickle, you know, hit other things. I've kind of got this constant 16th note feel in mind. It's at 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1E and 2 and. In fact, if you turn the sound off, <laughs> this is kind of weird, but if you turn the sound off and just watch my right hand, you'll notice that it just kind of keeps moving. It's almost hard to tell when I hit the strings and when I don't. So uh, turn the sound off if you want. I'm going to play it and I'm going to focus in on the right hand and you'll see what I mean. Two, three, four. <laughs> If you turn the sound off, 
That's me telling you it's time to turn it back on. Uh, anyway, so you see it's it's all about that groove. It's you know getting that right hand going. Now, you don't have to play it anywhere nearly as fast as I did. Um, probably about the slowest you'd want to go is about here. I think if you went too much slower than that, you'd have a hard time keeping the groove going. But it doesn't have to be flying the way I'm doing it. So, I uh, hope you enjoy that video. You know, and I just I just went through the standard 12 bar pattern. So I just did a G, C, and D just straight through a 12 bar blues. So uh, hopefully you take a little time and work on it. Hope you had fun with it, and I'll see you in the next video.